Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, let's do a level 89 review of Thancred. Uh, this will be after his second master ability is available. Uh, but it might seem like random timing uh, to do a review of Thancred, uh, but actually it's kind of appropriate. Uh, we have Warrior of Light coming out soon in Global, and then uh, Cecil just came out in uh, JP, and then there's also uh, Engelbert and Ramza running around. And they're all kind of similar enough that it's worth talking about them all together, I would say. So, This is a video just about kind of general tanking uh, and also light element characters, but more specifically about Thancred. Uh, but just to get it out of the way first, uh, Warrior of Light, he is the best tank in the game. Uh, he is a better tank than all of the other characters that I just mentioned. Uh, Engelbert is nice, and I do enjoy using him. But I feel like his biggest weakness is the Paladin job. His only way of generating hate is the Attract Blade, and this costs 44 AP. Uh, that's very expensive. It's difficult to get it out quickly and get it out frequently. Uh, so actually Engelbert kind of struggles with hate, especially with some of the updates that we've gotten to hate lately. Of course you can give him the Vow of Love card, uh, but I feel like as time goes on, that Vision card slot uh, becomes more and more precious. And especially if you're going for a resistance build, I think there are a lot of better cards than uh, Vow of Love. So that makes Engelbert a little bit tough to use as a tank. If there's one thing in the game, well there's lots of things in the game that I wish that they would fix, uh, but one would be to maybe reduce the cost of Attract Blade. Uh, Warrior of Light, he does not have that problem uh, for two reasons. One, he has a new ability where it's just like a, uh, like a self buff, which raises his hate. Uh, very useful and you don't need a target. Uh, but also he has the Spellblade subjob, so he gets Attract Spell, uh, which is both uh, cheaper and you can use it more times per battle, so it's a pretty good skill. And then my favorite tanks in the game are actually characters with the Spellblade job or subjob, uh, but they're also able to tank physical attacks. Um, so specifically, that is uh, Sasayaki and Dario here. And it's kind of funny how that worked out, but Sasayaki, one of my favorite tanks in JP. Uh, now I'm going to aim for uh, Dario in Global. Uh, so maybe I can make him like a uh, Sasayaki Light in uh, Global. <laughs> and uh, although I don't have him, uh, Ramza, he's another candidate uh, for the using the Spellblade, the Attract Spell, uh, but also tanking physical attacks. Uh, he has low, or negative rather, uh, magic resistance, so he's really better as a physical tank. Uh, but with that Attract Blade, I think if you really built him up for physical, he could be a good tank. I do regret not pulling him. I think it'd be a lot of fun to uh, use him. And then, finally, I guess we could talk about uh, Cecil. I think a lot of people are surprised that he does not have any hate uh, generation abilities. Uh, but the way that I've been seeing the game move in the last couple months is to kind of move away from a uh, team with a dedicated uh, hate generating tank. Uh, the two characters that really changed uh, my perception of that were Agrius and Kirufe. Uh, you've probably seen me use them a ton in uh, various arena videos. Uh, but I started using them and I was like, oh, these guys are so tough that they don't need a tank to go with them. Um, so I started to kind of gravitate towards characters uh, that are, you know, attackers or something, uh, but they have a lot of defense themselves, which would, uh, in effect, free up a slot for me uh, so I could have a team of like, you know, three attackers, uh, but they're all tanky enough that they wouldn't need a tank to protect them. And that's where I think uh, Cecil and both Thancred uh, fall into, that role there. Not a main tank, maybe not even a sub-tank, uh, but a very tanky frontline attacker. And so early game in War of the Visions, uh, the dedicated tank was almost necessary to reach the, uh, the top levels of PvP. Uh, pretty much everybody had an Engelbert on their team. Uh, but little by little, we'll see uh, Global go the way of JP, where a dedicated tank is not necessary anymore. It's still a viable strategy, but it's not the only viable strategy. I think the problem with Thancred was that in some ways he was ahead of his time. 
uh, being a very tanky attacker. Which is kind of sort of the new meta in JP right now. And so when the game was very young, maybe people didn't know how to think about Thancred. Uh, but I was lucky that I came at him at the, uh, the time that I did, uh, because I didn't have those previous uh, prejudices. I kind of came uh, at Thancred with new eyes. And uh, just as I thought, uh, he fits great on a team with like Agrius and Kirufe, where everybody's tanky, everybody's kind of self-sustaining. Uh, but anyway, let's look at uh, Thancred. And then two things about his, uh, well, maybe three things about his stats really stand out. Uh, one is top class HP. It's ridiculous. It's like Engelbert status HP. I've heard of people getting him up to like 7,000. And then attack, it's also top class. It's near Eileen. Uh, speed is slow, or agility rather, so you do want to give him uh, maybe a Trustmaster or something with some agility on there. And then, another thing about his uh, statistics that is really interesting are his resistances. And this is very close to tank numbers, but if you've seen my other videos where I, uh, you know, build up people's resistances, including with a Thancred, uh, you can get him to like 80, 90, or even 100% resistance uh, to a certain type of attack. And for him, uh, Projectile is going to be the easiest to build up. Uh, he comes with 20 off the bat, and then he has a support skill, uh, which will give him 15. And then you could give him uh, Platinum Robe plus 5 if you're crazy enough to make that. Or you could give him like Valide's Armor, or Sasayaki's Trustmaster, and then of course Vision Cards and Espers, and then you can get him very very high in there. If you have used uh, Yeruma in the current uh, Gunner meta in Global, and you've given her like a helmet, and then the Snow White Vision card, and I forget, the Ifrit uh, Esper, then you know that you can get her projectile resistance very, very high. And so she becomes a uh, Gunner Hunter, basically. Uh, you can totally do the same thing with uh, Thancred. Uh, but slash 20%, that's also really good. Again, you can give him a lot of armor and vision cards and espers in order to raise his uh, slash resistance. And then you can apply that uh, thinking to any of these guys, uh, Warrior of Light, uh, Engelbert, get their resistances very high. Maybe they won't be as high as the Sasayaki's, but they can get pretty close. Okay, next I guess we can look at his uh, Trustmaster. This is very nice. Uh, light armor, almost 600 HP, that's pretty crazy. Evade 10, which is also very nice. And then defense 10, that's fine. And then light resistance up 15. Uh, there are not a lot of um, trust masters or any kind of armor which gives you elemental resistance. So, And then as for equipment good for him, uh, of course you want to give him the, uh, the gun blade. That's the only one that he can use. And then you want to give him some kind of trust master with uh, agility. Uh, Jesus Bells might be best for him. Uh, or you could give him uh, Etoa's badge here. Or Phoebe's hat, you know, stuff like that. Um, or if you wanted to work on his uh, resistances, again, Sasayaki. Uh, or you can give him a Valide's uh, Trustmaster. And then uh, light armor he can use, so... I don't know if you'd want to go for an evade build, but you could certainly give him the uh, Wizard's hat. Um, or you can give him the Platinum Robe. A plus zero Platinum Robe is just fine. <laughs> I hear a lot of people grumbling about the raid. I I did it until I got one rainbow shard, and then I kind of stopped. But I'd like to get at least one platinum robe. Okay, but next let's talk about his jobs. Uh, main job, Gunbreaker. This is kind of like a uh, close range attacker, but with some nice uh, movement abilities. And then Dragoons will give him jumps. And then Red Mage, which will give him uh, some black and some white magic. And then I think of Thancred in two ways. Uh, one is as an attacker, uh, one as a tank support. Not a sub-tank, a tank support. And if I do use him for attacking, I want to give him the Dragoon sub-job. If I want to use him as a tank support, I give him the, uh, the Gunbreaker sub-job. Uh, Red Mage, I would really only recommend if you need Essena. Um, there are some, like the EX floors of the tower, uh, if you really needed Essena, you could uh, use that in there. Okay, but let's enter the ability set board. Let's look at the uh, individual skills. 
So main job Gunbreaker, he has Keen Edge. Uh, this is great for chaining. Uh, two hits, this would be good for the uh, Death Machine raid. Uh, next is a self buff, No Mercy. This will raise his slash attack. Uh, this is different from raising his just his flat attack. Um, so this won't help with his red mage skills, won't help with his dragoon skills. And then if you're going against a guy with uh, high slash resistance, uh, this won't be as good, maybe, as the regular attack. And Blasting Zone, very short uh, area of effect attack. A little bit of uh, casting time, unless you get his second master ability. Uh, but very nice damage. And I hit two guys with this at once more often than I expected, so it's pretty nice. And then here's Rough Divide. This is maybe my favorite attack of his, uh, but it's a move plus attack. So if you were to move and then use this, you could move a total of six spaces in all. Uh, it also looks really cool. And then he can also teleport through like uh, rocks and like cliffs and stuff, so and walls and whatever. So it's actually uh, nice as a movement ability as well. Good damage too. And then uh, Bolide, this is a self buff. Uh, it will take away some of his HP, but it will give him a barrier which will last for three hits. Uh, so this adds to his uh, tankiness. And then I think with uh, Rough Divide and then um, these other self buffs, he definitely wants to get out there quickly, uh, just in the mix in the middle of all of the enemies, and then attack from there, and then take up hits. Uh, I think that's what he's built for. Okay, next let's talk about uh, Dragoon, I guess, because it's more simple. Uh, but here is the Dragon's Blood self-buff. This will raise his attack. This is his only attack self-buff, uh, besides No Mercy. So. so if you really wanted to use him as an attacker, again, I would recommend uh, Dragoon, sub-jump. Then he's got Jump, basic uh, attack, nice damage. And then here's the Horizon Jump, uh, good damage, long range. Uh, but you can only use it on the same elevation, which is not as big of a deal as you might think. And then here's a Brave Break. And then here's a Self Buff to raise his jump and move. Also, this could be good to help him get in the middle of all of the, uh, the guys there. Okay, Red Mage we're not even going to look at. Uh, again, just use it if you want, uh, Essena. And then here's the Gunbreaker Subjob, which is very interesting, and which I think has some good skills. That would make him good in a tank support role. And what I mean by a tank support uh, is to have a main dedicated tank on your team and then Thancred using his skills to support that tank. Uh, we see this with uh, Cecil. He has, uh, you know, barriers and buffs that he can put on other guys that are defensive. Uh, kind of a similar thing here with Thancred. Uh, but here is Heart of Stone. He can do a uh, defense buff on somebody within this range. Uh, being able to put that on another character is very, very powerful. Uh, again, it's a uh, defense only, not spirit. Uh, so really, I think you want to keep Thancred away from magic users. Use him against uh, physical attackers. Okay, here is Aurora. This is another buff that he can put on another character. Uh, but it's a three turn regen, uh, which is very cool. And then much uh, better range than your regular regen, which like Ayaka casts. So. Uh, if you could also put this on your main tank, that would be very cool. And then here is a Burst Strike. This is just a short range attack, uh, low cost, uh, few uses per battle, so... Yeah, I don't know if you need this as much as maybe some of his other skills. But interesting combinations would be to uh, put Engelbert and then Thancred on the same team. And then if you put Vow of Love on Engelbert, then you can get the uh, the slash up on everybody. That's a nice synergy. Uh, you can also use Thancred to support uh, Sasayaki. Uh, those regen and the defense buffs would be nice. Uh, you could use Thancred to support your MR tanks, like uh, Nasia or Mont, make them harder to take down. Uh, or even uh, Warrior of Light, and they might have good synergy because they're both uh, light slash attackers as well. Although Warrior of Light is so tanky, I don't know if he needs help from other characters. <laughs> uh, but for me, 9 times out of 10, I'm using the Dragoon sub-job for Thangred. Okay, next let's look at his support abilities. One really interesting thing about his support abilities is that he doesn't have any that raises his attacks or his uh, damage. 
it's a lot of uh, defensive stuff. Uh, so here is uh, Nebula, this will raise uh, Pierce resistance up. Uh, Camouflage will raise uh, projectile resistance. Uh, HP up, jump plus one. And then here, starting AP uh, plus one. And then uh, this starting AP, uh, this might be nice because, again, to go with the theme of him just rushing into the enemies, taking their hits, and then dealing damage. Uh, using this uh, starting AP up uh, can help him get more AP skills out, maybe like Rough Divide or Keen Edge or whatever. And then I usually put uh, HP up on him, unless I'm working on a, a resistance build, uh, or if a certain map needs more jump. But yeah, we can give him the HP up. And then our reaction abilities, I usually have this one. This is the Dragoon one, which will uh, drain HP as a uh, reaction skill. Uh, but I also like the, the Magic Reflex. This is one of the reasons why having the uh, Red Mage subjob is nice. Uh, as much as possible, I try to keep Thancred away from Magic users, uh, but if I absolutely have to go after them, uh, I won't bother with Magic Resistance or raising his spirit or anything. I'm totally just going to rely on luck and his magic reflex and then hopefully that goes off. And then I'm actually working on his uh, faith. I want to get that up so that the magic reflex has a better chance of getting out. And I figure that, you know, he still might get one punched anyway by like Mediana or something, even with low faith. Uh, so I might as well raise my chances of uh, evading that. Okay, no limit break, and then here is the master ability. I think they just jammed them together, uh, but we see HP up 20%, slash attack up 10, uh, just general attack up 100, and then blasting zone, no charge time. So yeah, great, great numbers on him. Uh, you just have to use him the right way. I would not recommend putting the Vow of Love on him, using him as a main tank, because the way that hate works now even if you put the Vow of Love on somebody, that hate will run out pretty quickly. So I think you really need to rely on increasing your hate through active or passive abilities. So I would stop using uh, Thancred in that way. Use him as an attacker, and then if you want, you could also give him some support abilities to help your main tank. The one thing, the one big thing that makes me worried about Thancred, and then kind of his uh, longevity, is that in all of his attacks, and all his nice stats, he's missing quite a bit. Uh, he doesn't have any defense piercing, he doesn't have any breaks, he doesn't have any slayers. And that's what we see like top flight attackers have, uh, like Vineta, Orlando, people like that. Uh, maybe if you pair uh, Thancred with like uh, Gilgamesh, uh, Gilgamesh has a slash resistance break, or maybe if there's some future equipment or some character which can add a Dark Slayer to Thancred, that might be good. But yeah, Thancred, he has the raw stats, but he doesn't have the abilities that a lot of other uh, top tier attackers have. Uh, it's kind of funny in my case. I never played Final Fantasy XIV, but of course I've played Final Fantasy I and IV and Tactics. And yet I chose Thancred over all of those other characters. <laughs> uh, but just the way that he was like available and then the way that you worked on him was so interesting. I totally ignored him the first time, the, uh, the first Final Fantasy XIV event. Uh, but the second I saw a chance uh, to get him up to Limit Break 4, which was my goal, uh, so I could get that second Master ability. And then actually the last couple days, uh, my pulls on those tickets were super lucky. I got another of the, uh, the character with the 40 shard uh, pack. So actually, maybe I should have kept buying uh, those currencies so I could pull tickets even beyond the event. Maybe you should have gone for uh, Thancred Limber Break 5. <laughs> uh, but although he was a, uh, a whale trap character the first time he came out, uh, like literally, you had to spend $5,000 just pulling the hatcher in order to get enough shards for him. Uh, but with the second appearance, he kind of became a true free-to-play character. I think I pulled one 10 shot just to get the last shards for him on the last day, uh, but otherwise he's been totally free. Um, so if you're kind of, you know, halfway there or partway there to Thancred Limit Break 4, uh, keep an eye out for that second 
collaboration, even if you are a free-to-play player, I think you can get a very, very nice character out of it. And then hopefully there's a third collaboration, so I can go for the uh, Lemon Break 5, get his Trustmaster, have an even uh, tankier character. Okay, I think that will do it for Thancred. Uh, maybe tomorrow I will talk about uh, Warrior of Light. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.